Go. All right, now we're going to do another ab drill Mike and I like to use. Uh, really don't have a name for them. It kind of got a little of it from Goran Dragic, the basketball player for the Phoenix Suns, NBA point guard. But uh, we kind of have our own variation to it. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to start with a uh, three-minute plank hold. I'm going to do that for three minutes. And then what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to go straight into a hip raise hold, which entails me to lay on my back like this. I'm going to put a tennis ball between my legs here. I'm just going to hold for one minute. And after that minute's up, I'm going to do continuously 25 straight hip raises. After that, I'm going to get rid of the tennis ball. I'm going to, then I'm going to go single leg hold raises. So I'm going to hold this my right foot up in the air for a minute, and then after that minute's up, I'm going to do 25 raises on the right side. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the left side. After that, I'm going to go into side plank. And then on the side plank, I'm going to go a minute each side, and then I'm done. And this drill really focuses on your hips. Obviously, it's trying to strengthen your hips, and uh, obviously your core as well, but more so your hips. And it's very good for strengthening those muscles that really, those twitch muscles that help you jump, really make you more explosive. And that's kind of why we like this drill, because uh, it really can uh, benefit you with your, uh, with your jumping, not only your core. And that's very important, obviously, to uh, being a basketball player, okay? So start right now, I'll get going. Try to go three minutes with this plank, and then uh, we'll go from there. It'll be fun. Mike's got the timer, and he'll time you. Let me know when it's time to switch. Here we go. Ready, Mike? Ready. Go. Got a little bit, bit of an arch, pretty straight back. Want your butt in the air a little bit. You don't want your butt down too far. That way you're not putting too much uh, uh, strain on your back. It's just all mental. After about a minute, minute and a half, when it really starts to kick in, it's all mental after that. And this is just we. This is a great way to start this workout because you're all. It really burns out your uh, your entire core, really. So it just makes the uh, the hip raises, the hip holds, uh, just makes it that much that much more difficult uh, because you're already burning it out with a, with a, with, a, with an opening plank. As you notice with these workouts, these core workouts we do, a lot of planks. Um, I don't think there's any better way to really work your core than doing planks. There's so many variations on planks as well, um, and especially from a basketball. Minute and a half, halfway there, especially from a basketball standpoint, uh, with the importance of the core uh, to building up your body, doing planks on a regular or somewhat regular basis is, can only benefit you. In, in your uh, in your game. Again, it's important to build up your skills, obviously, but it's just as important to build up your body, especially for those guys that uh, maybe aren't the most uh, athletic and uh, quickest guys out there. Maybe not the most naturally gifted players. Uh, having a strong core, having a strong body, is only going to help you progress your game further. Two fifteen. 45 seconds, let's go, hold it, breathe. And that's one way to control your breath is really one way to uh, help you get through these workouts. If you let yourself just breathe heavy and hard, half, uh, 30 seconds throughout it, uh, it makes it that much more difficult. So really try to focus on controlling your breath. Long inhales, long exhales uh, can really help you get through this. 15 seconds, come on Danny boy. that button here 10 5 stop let's go
Ready? Go. Go. And again, get that butt in the air. Getting that butt in the air. Uh, there's no breaks. There's a little rest time as possible in between. The basketball is great to have there because it really may, forces him to keep his knees together and really puts a little more strain on the hips and the, the, the glutes, the hip flexors and the glutes as he holds him in the air. Thirty seconds. And typically this part of the workout isn't as challenging as when you get to the single leg. The single leg is really where it gets difficult because you're isolating each side. Fifteen seconds and you can really feel the burn there. But again, this is another way to just burn out the hips and the glutes before you get to the uh, single leg holds. Five. Okay, bust them, wrap them out. Drop it, let's go. This is where it gets really challenging. You gotta keep that leg up. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Five. All right, bust them out. Next. Yeah, he's feeling it. Good job. Notice how he's trying to keep that leg as straight as possible. If you let the leg, you know, um, Go forward and near the and, and near the ground. It, it, it doesn't get quite as challenging. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Rip them out. Rip them out. Okay, side. Yeah, and it's always good to end with a little side plank. Get the obliques going. Burn them out a little bit. And then it, of course, he dance keeping his top leg off of his bottom leg. It makes it that much more difficult. Once you get to a point where you've uh, done these drill, uh, you've done side planks for a while, uh, you can challenge yourself by uh, keeping uh, the top leg, top foot off the uh, bottom foot. So it's really isolating that uh, bottom leg. Twenty seconds. Ten.
switch. Thirty seconds, doing the best he can to keep his hips up too. It's difficult at this point, but he's grinding through it. Fifteen. Five. Stop. summertime it's beach body time so please uh, take a look at these two workouts and if you got any more questions you know where to find us at expertcoaching.com